Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. Today's a very special one. It is the beginning of a brand new account, our 20 defense Iron Man Pure. The goals for this account is simply 50 attack, 20 defense, keeping it under 90 combat. That way we are around that pure bracket and we are able to wear full Vesta and Stadius when it comes out, as well as hopefully the Ruinous Prayers on top of that. Now because it is an Iron Man and there are certain quests that I cannot do, it means that there are certain items that I cannot unlock. And I do want to be able to use those items, but it's actually impossible for me to get them on the account unless we create a duo Iron Man account and that's what we've done and now this account is linked to another account which is going to be used by my girlfriend. So face value this is kind of like a duo Iron Man journey sort of but my goal is focused on building the ultimate low level bounty hunter account and my girlfriend's goal is to just enjoy the game as an Iron Man as well as supply my account with items that are locked behind quests. Uh... What should we do? I figured the best thing to do is probably start off by getting the 10K from the security of Stronghold. So we're gonna quickly do that. Oh my God, I'm actually gonna die. Bye. Okay, well, the good news is I really did not care <laughs> about the hardcore status on these accounts. Um, Only because I DC so often, but holy fuck, that was quick. Still can't believe I fucking died. Anyway, give me my 5K. All right, one more level to go. Finally, give me my 10K. Thank you very much. I can't believe we died this early. I forgot to get cabbages. And Kira didn't though, so that's good. I think we should do some magic training first. So we're going to buy... a. I think it's the stuff of fire we need. Actually, let me just buy another one for Akira. I'm pretty sure that's that. And now we're gonna go get some runes. Okay, that should be enough runes to get me to at least um, 13 magic. And that way we're able to do some of the starter quests, which is pretty much gonna be the most important part of early game, I think. We found some men, so I figured we'd quickly get our thieving up. 10 fire making. So we're just gonna keep doing this until we get to hopefully like 15 fire making or something. And 15 fire making that was so much easier than i expected like when i was a noob i felt like getting the early levels was so much harder this is actually useful we might even follow this for a little bit a lot of these kind of make sense but we'll see and cook's assistant complete our first quest completed there's five cooking as well what kind of a stupid quest is this take your fucking wool Oh my god, doing that without staminas hurts. So I just turned on the new GPU mode. How freaking cool does this look? Like the lighting and shit. Like I'm actually tempted to play with this shit. I probably won't because the CBA like switching back and forth, but still pretty cool. I have never seen- what is this? Someone in the comments let me know what this is. I've never seen this before. It's probably like a mini game or some shit, but give me my magician XP. Thank you very much. That should be 10 magic, I do believe. Oh, six. What in the fuck are we doing? <laughs> Bro, what is this? What are they? Look at my fucking dance moves. Oh my, finally done. Anyway, that's early wood cutting XP done. 13 wood cutting, two more levels, and then we can cut down oaks and also burn them. We were in the area, so I figured we'd quickly get a whole bunch of cakes and get 25-ish thieving, which should be right now, 25 thieving. We have a whole bunch of cakes, which should be enough for winter Todd. I think that is the direction that we're going to head in for early game, but um, yeah, I'm not too sure yet. Yeah, we've got 300 cakes in the bank, so that should be enough for, I imagine, all of our winter Todd. I'd Oh, I want to stay low HP, so I think that's going to be enough, but yeah. I kind of have two goals in mind right now. Number one is get the levels for early winter, Todd. And goal number two is be as efficient as possible for the next two days, so then we can unlock LMS. But yeah, now we're going to have 15 wood cutting, 15 fire making. We're going to continue this all the way until we get to 50. I think it's 50 fire making we need for... um for winter Todd. That's kind of the main goal that I'm going for here. But yeah, I'll probably pause at around 30-ish and take a break and then do some fletching, but we'll see. 30 fire making coming up any second now. Um, yeah, so I did a little bit of research while doing this and I want to get some early stats before we go into winter Todd, like construction. Um, that way when I'm doing winter Todd, I'm being as efficient as possible by getting construction XP, by like, you know, lighting the um, you know, repairing the brazes and that sort of thing. Oh, 10 fletching. So we're nearly there. Five more levels to go. We can now do longbows. But yeah, getting 10 XP per log now instead of the standard five is so much better. Like fletching early on. Holy shit, it is so slow. Is that a... Oh, it is our first clue scroll. I don't think I'm going to do clue scrolls. Um... Oh, that was a really easy one. But um, yeah, I don't think we're going to do clue scrolls until later on. Um, Once we get like teleports and stuff. We are one XP away from 31. 
There it is, 31. We can now use an adamant axe. Now the adamant axe is gonna be the best axe that I can use for quite a while. And we can actually get one from a drop in the wilderness. Quickly got 15 fletching. We now have the requirement for a quest. I can't remember its name now. And it's all we need for winter Todd. So I'm very happy that we don't have to do fletching again for a very long time. Memories in this place, holy. Like on my other accounts, I always skip this random event. But now like on an Iron Man, it's kind of efficient for me to do it because I get some loot, I guess. This is just so freaking nostalgic. Oh, four emeralds. That's actually really good. They're going to turn into dueling rings and dueling rings are going to be my main form of teleportation for pretty much everything. Sea slug almost complete. Thank you very much. So there's some early, super, super early fishing levels. 24 fishing just like that. 10 agility. We're in the area, so we quickly got 10 agility. So apparently if you talk to this guy, you can unlock the barbarian assault teleport. Does it work? It does. Okay, awesome. So now we can teleport up here. Lake city done and 15 mining just like that. Let's buy a house. Give me house, please. Yes, I have the money for it. Thank you very much. Murder mystery almost complete. There we go. 1.4k crafting XP, 12 crafting just like that. That is fishing contest complete. We now have 26 fishing. That is going to make our journey towards barbarian fishing so, so much faster. Doric's quest is about to be complete and then we're going to probably quickly do. Thank you very much. Orlando, my good sir, give me my hunter and... Thank you very much. Nine Slayer, Nine Hunter, just like that. So the quest we're doing now is quite an important one. This is going to allow us to get a whole bunch of death runes, which we're probably going to sell for early money since we are running out of money pretty freaking quickly. While we're in Draenor, we're going to also quickly get... There it is, the Chronicle. That's going to enable us to teleport up to Varrock, which is going to make life so much easier. I don't have to like run all the way up all the time. All right, go choose Ket, done. Oh, there's some cooking XP, pretty pog. But yeah, this thing, we're going to sell it every three hours for a bunch of death runes and we're gonna make some bank need to get some goblin armor for goblin diplomacy so I figured i just quickly come down here and get some magic levels there's 13 magic as well we can now cast fire strike fire strike is going to be our bread and butter for <laughs> combat for a very long time now we've got a chef's hat holy fuck bro i'm a chef i am officially chef picnic thank you Okay, we needed these red berry pies. Th these took so freaking long to get together, holy. But um, yeah, we need them for a quest, so hopefully I don't burn them. Please don't burn. You're fucking kidding me. It's annoying. Oh my. I'm so sorry. I don't deserve this hat, bro. <laughs> I failed. Do all this all over again. Ay, ay, ay. All right, let's get a lot of this shit now, just in case we burn a whole bunch more. All right, this is it. The moment of truth. Let's go red berry pie and 40 cooking as well. Holy shit, that was annoying. What's up, Thurgo, you piece of shit? Can't get your own fucking pie. Take it. Yes, I'm glad you're enjoying the pie. Can we be done? Thank you. I'm gonna quickly finish Druidic Ritual. And now we can actually start doing Herb Law as well. Now Herb Law as an Iron Man is one of the most frustrating things apparently, but we do need to get up to 26 as soon as possible. So that way we have energy potions so we can run around rather than walk around. Quickly getting the iron bars that we need to finish off the Night Sword quest. That was like the part of the quest after Thurgo that I was stuck on, so and now get that done. Now this quest is gonna give me, look at that, one to 29 smithing, just like that. Freaking insane. That's pretty much done, I think. Yeah, <laughs> it took like two minutes. Holy shit. Well, that was easy. Magician level coming up. 21 magician. So we're finishing Witch's House. I was going to do Winter Todd really early with 10 HP, but I'm pretty sure I can do it with 20 to 30 HP just fine. So that's going to get me to 25 HP. That should be enough HP for a very long time. Like, I think I can do pretty much all of the early game quests with it, and I should still be fine for Winter Todd. Bro, this guy, what am I watching? Look at him, he's trying to lure the thing, but he's just... What? What is he doing? I can't, I, he got it. Oh my, he lost it. Oh my, what am I watching? Okay, stand on me, stand on me. No, what, bro? <laughs> I can't, this is... Oh, there's 30 thieving, but what? Should I do it for him? I'll do it for him. Run around here and done. Um, you're, you're welcome, bro. So for early cash, we're going to be selling silk. We do need thieving levels anyway. So I figure this is kind of the most efficient thing to do whilst we wait for our stupid cat to grow, which should be any second now. Nice. Now we're going to go sell him. But before that, we might quickly go get the Arduin, um 
diary done. That way we can just teleport back and forth from Arduin since that is where we're going to be selling the cats. Biohazard is about to be complete. Thank you, sir. Now we can access the place to sell our kitty. <laughs> all right, all the tasks are done. That was a lot faster than I expected, but um, sweet. Now we can teleport to Arduin whenever we need. I'm probably going to hold on to that. Yeah, I can't use it on agility yet, so I'm probably going to do some more quests, get some early agility levels, and then I'm going to use the... Um, the lamp on it later on. Take my kitty. Thank you very much. Our first 200 death runes. That feels so good, man. So we're going to sell this, get some money and we Gucci. Hello, give me another cat, please. I swear to you, I'm going to keep this one and I'm not going to sell it for death runes. <laughs> so we bought a whole bunch of feathers and stuff and we're going to quickly get 15 cooking. Thank you very much. We can now cook trout. So we're going to run up, do a whole bunch of fly fishing. I don't think I need these. I want to get high fishing as early as possible. That way, anytime I want to AFK, I can just go do barbarian fishing. You know what I mean? We're about to get 30 fishing. Is that one? Yep. 30 fishing done. And 30 cooking. That was really, really quick. Now, I think that's all I'm going to need for karamb ones way later on. So I'm probably going to pause cooking now, save it for karamb ones and just focus on fishing because I really do want to unlock barbarian fishing like as fast as possible. That is another 200 death runes in the bank and we're about to get a fishing level. There it is. 50 fishing. Also just a couple hours away from 24 hours playtime. I think our progress in 24 hours is pretty good. And it's also officially halfway until Last Man Standing unlock as well, which is going to be huge. Another 200 death runes, please. Where is it? Thank you. 55 fishing. Three more levels to go until we can go do barbarian fishing. And there it is. 58 fishing. Just like it took two seconds when it actually took a couple hours. But anywho, we can now get leaping salmon. Fuck yeah. Okay, cool. I'm actually so happy with that. Now we're going to need some more agility levels. So we're going to quickly go do a quest. Wait, what? How is this? No. Oh my God. Run energy, go. Oh my god. Why the fuck did he attack? Yes, Anna, get out of your stupid barrel. Quest finish, please. Agility. Uh, I think one agility. Yep, agility. 22. One more. Agility again. 27, just like that. Thank you very much. Only three levels left until 30, and then we can use the XP lamp. Another dead cat, and I am richer because of it. Give me this heavy rod. Thank you. This is the thing that we need to start barbarian fishing. Oh my god, I can't wait to... You fucking see oh my do not left click the chalice so there we go okay quest complete in a second there it is all right that should give us the strength there we go 30 30 okay and so now we can go do some fly fishing thankfully oh we can wear adamant as well we decided to quickly get the tree series done whatever they call like the grand tree and tree gnome and all them done because we get agility xp from the grand tree so we want to get that done as soon as possible that way we can get 30 plus agility so we can use the xp lamps some extra attack levels which is very nice and we can now teleport around the place which is also kind of cool 25 magic on the ko for the demon and that should be quest complete I think. There we go. Now it is quest complete. There we go. All right, sweet. So that should give us the agility we need. 33 agility, 40 attack as well. So we can now use rune, which is kind of cool. But more importantly, we now have 25 magic for Varrock teleport. Yes, we would love to use you on agility. Easy peasy. Oh, there's 34 agility as well. Finally, we can. Let's go. We have unlocked barbarian fishing. Holy fuck. I'm so happy. So right now, I think the best thing I can do is just get passive agility, strength levels, fishing levels, as well as sell our cat every three hours. That way, once we hit the 48 hour mark, we'll unlock LMS, which is going to be our best money maker, which we can then use to buy runes so we can teleport around the place, get higher mage levels and all that good stuff. Yo, that is it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Did you know we're actually streaming live right now? We're streaming every day on kick with regular giveaways so if you guys want to check it out i'll leave a link down below but yeah that's pretty much it see you guys next time what are you waiting for do it yes i'm real